Well, let's get started here. Right. Start it up. A little choke. Thing runs great. Cut. I gotta get my siren working. Ground issue or something. Oh, it's not plugged in. All right, so this is my uh, 1942 Ford fire truck cab over. Uh, I bought this truck about a year ago, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Basically bought it out of a private collection of fire trucks. It had been in that collection probably 20 years. And uh, this was the first thing they sold out of it. And I was fortunate enough to buy it. It was in service in the Endicott uh, New York Fire Department. Uh, there was two of these trucks exactly the same, but I don't know what happened to the other one. This is the one that survived. The body part was made in uh, Buffalo, New York uh, by Buffalo Fire Appliance Company. And uh, they've actually made quite a few of the local trucks around here. This one is in uh, particularly good condition because um, it was a fire truck that was probably indoors most of its life. Um, so a lot of the early stuff was preserved, you know, in pretty good shape. When I bought it, it, uh, it didn't run. The brakes were all seized up. You know, it basically been sitting about 20 years and hadn't really been run or driven in that time. It took a little bit to get started. Uh, I had to free the engine up, uh, rebuild the carburetor, rebuild all the brake system, uh, the ignition system. I went through all the wiring because on these old trucks and vehicles, they all the contacts get a little uh, tarnished and then they stop working so I have to go through all the switches um, but I think I got just about everything functioning um, which is kind of cool you know so we can uh, drive it around now which is a thrill I guess <laughs> you know there's little cabinets and stuff they would have had various tools and fittings and equipment in here you do still have the hoses you know and there's some more in the back uh, you know there's just a lot of cool little details like this is one that I really like. Uh, there's a little button back here and it rings a bell inside the cab. That's for when the guys used to ride on the back here, they could signal the driver to stop or somebody fell off or whatever. Okay, so this pump, uh, I have not actually tried to pump any water with it. Everything seems pretty free and stuff is moving around and you got the pressure relief and everything. Um, but like I said, I didn't try to put any water through it and it, somebody had removed the water tank. Okay, so this is called a cab over. Um, basically stands for cab over engine because this right here is the engine, this big gigantic uh, cover here which takes up most of the leg room and you can kind of pull this stuff off and in here is our engine this is just a uh, 100 horsepower flathead v8 uh, pretty notorious engine from ford uh, a lot of the gangsters like this engine and so did the firefighters because it had power to start one of these this one does not have a key this because it's just a so there's an ignition switch here um, and there's a choke right here I don't think we really need it it's a little warmed up and a start button and she's running <laughs> got the horn working got the siren this one's cool because you got these uh, safari windows which I really like you basically can open it wide open like that. 
not really sure why, but uh, <laughs> lets a lot of air in. And also bugs and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's go for a drive. Grinds a little bit if you don't know how you're shifting. I think we can handle fourth gear for the hill. You can see it like runs and drives great. Uh, well, good for the period. Good bit of fun. I've always wanted one of these cab over Ford trucks because I think they're just awesome looking. Yeah, I really like it. I had a lot of fun uh, fixing it up and hopefully pass it on to somebody who's going to do the same uh, and keep it going. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you on the next one.